Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel, me and my sis, Riss. So in today's video, we are going to do like a little dedication or a video in memory of Nico. So he passed away a year ago and Nico was our seven year old bully. So we're just going to kind of talk about him. We're going to share some pictures and videos and how can we describe Nico? If you had to pick one word, one word that describes Nico for me would be would be unique. Um. I would say he was super, super unique. Like there was no one like him. Well, yeah, <laughs> but not like to describe him. Like I guess if you had to describe who he was, it would be like, oh my god, every freaking word. Stubborn, <laughs> cute. Loving. Freaking sassy AF. He fit into this family. Yeah. Like and bougie. I would say bougie. bougie. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, like hair flip. Like yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, literally, I remember when I used to be like, "We go get, get over oh, yeah." And he would like look at me, and then he would turn the other way. <laughs> like, like, are you fucking kidding? Yeah. Me? Like, get over here. Like, you're so cute. We just want to be. Or when we get home from work, he would come to the door, but then run away. I'm like, get. Get over here because fat, but over here <laughs> with right your now. furry little and the way he just walked, he knew he was like, you know, the ish. The ish. Cause I always say this. I don't remember like what was before Nico because Nico came in and just kinda like took over. He was not a good child. No. He had I remember a the freaking day we brought him home and I was like, oh no. No, like what we get ourselves into. Yeah. And then we were like literally like this close to like giving him away. I was devastated. I was Marissa, do you remember? You were in your room and yeah. our dad had told us that we were gonna give him away because we just like it, we could not do it. I started bawling my like literally Nico like is and was everything. Everything. I don't like when I think about it, I was like it just happened, like he, I honestly think, was meant for this family. Like, Nico, and I think a lot of people felt the love that we had because you and I posted a lot about him on social media and stuff like that. Unless you knew him, like, you, you could possibly not understand because mm -hmm. it's like a love that you just can't. You can't describe, and then when you, but when you lose a pet, it's different because you don't just lose a pet, you lose like that unconditional love. Like, Nico was a part of our lives for seven plus years, you know, that's a long time. And our routine was Nico. Everything revolved around Nico. Like if we were gonna go out, say we were going out to eat or we were going to like grandma's, whatever, we we would have to have like a time slot of four hours. Like you can't leave him alone for more than four hours. Like our life revolved around yeah. Nico. Like our whole lives revolved around him. But I do think though that now that I look back, I'm just so happy that we had him, you know, yeah, because no. it's like he was just such a blessing. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, gosh, I wish we could have just done more, even though I know we gave him like the best mm -hmm. life ever. Like literally you would think Nico was a human, <laughs> but like, I just like, you know, you just all, when you lose anyone, you just wish that you had more time mm -hmm. with them. But like literally when I look at all the old videos and all of the old pictures, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I freaking love him. Mm -hmm. And they're so freaking funny. Like, <laughs> remember, <laughs> wait, remember that? So Nico. Like, like hide yeah. and seek. We were <laughs> and he was like, and he's like, he was like, we would do hide and seek every night. <clears throat> like, oh, we're going for his treats. Oh no, I'm talking about when he thought he was hiding. Oh, uh, okay, well that's, yeah. There's so many, like, good times that we could say that it's just like Nico. Like, if he was playing hide and seek with the treat, and we, we thought he, he knew hot, hot, cold, cold, but no. Yeah. He just was, was like getting really excited. Or <laughs> he did not like my dad putting eardrops in his ears. So he would go behind the couch, but the only thing is his head was behind the couch. <laughs> his whole body was out. But, like he couldn't see us, so he thought we could see. <laughs> he couldn't. And we're He's like, okay, so we can see you. <laughs> but you're not We'll pretend. We, but. No. And then when we got him a slide, he was like always oh, so excited my. and ran into <laughs> And when he ran into the screen door, he thought it was open. <laughs> I think he did that like at least two times. He did. He did so. Aww. He. I mean, 
Wait, that was freaking funny. Remember when he lost his hair on the side? He went through a lot of stages. He went. He lost. Life. He's lost his hair. <laughs> and I wouldn't take pictures with him because I was like, oh, he had allergies. Yeah, I, yeah. Like he didn't want photos taken at that time. He had allergies. He also <laughs> one time went to the vet and they put, I guess, an IV in him or I don't know what they did, blood drawn. And he came back and both of his arms were shaking. <laughs> he didn't look like, like little shackles. And then my dad oh, thought that he had ringworm, so he shaved his head, and then <laughs> he shaved his tail. Oh my god, but Nico has the cutest tail when it's shaved. So it looks like a cinder bird. Like that doesn't have icing on it. I think that, like, it's so... I think that it's helped to think about these times and, like, have so many pictures. And I'm so happy that we took so many pictures, so many videos, mm -hmm. because... I mean, I miss him every day. I think in the beginning it was really, really hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's still so really, it's still really hard. But I think every day you just kind of learn how to deal with it. But I will say that I am so happy that we all, all, and I'm not just saying it's us two. I'm saying it's like our family, our extended family. I'm talking about people that like PetSmart have picked them to, and I'm, so, we are so blessed to PetSmart, hallelujah, because. They helped him when he was yeah. terrible. And like people that didn't even know him were reaching out with like pictures and like, hey, I, I saw Nico on Instagram and like that makes me happy because yeah. that just shows a little glimpse of like how special yeah. he was. Yeah, Nico's personality was just like, oh god, he was seriously the best mm -hmm. ever. And then when we would pick him up from PetSmart and he would go trick or treating mm -hmm. to get those to treats, get the like treats. everyone was everyone like, knew. oh, everyone's like, oh, I knew he was gonna come over. Everyone knew. And everyone would say hi to him and like he was just the star. Like he really, and we're not even exaggerating. No, we're not. Like he, he was literally the star. Was the star, like the king of the castle on his slide. Mm -hmm. I even remember when time I went to go get something at PetSmart like I think it was like the bags or a treat or something and I didn't have him with me this guy work that worked there was like he was the one I was like putting stuff on the shelves and stuff and he goes hey and I'm like hey he's like where's Nico I'm like oh he's not the one that was with Nico like he was the one working at the store he's like Oh, where's Nico been? I'm like, how do you know my dog? Oh, like, he was so popular. They didn't, they didn't ask about Wait, us. They asked about him. They still have a photo <laughs> of him on the hotel. His pajamas. Oh, he wore pajamas. He wore pajamas. No. And he was so stinking cute. I need to get up. Look, these stories are so cute to talk about because it's like, what other dog would do? I, he's just so special. Relationships away, but he just was like special. Like, mm -hmm. I honestly think that he was me. Yeah. Like we were meant for each other and he his time here was for his time here. I was reading something like that I think helps me cope is that like humans are here longer because we have to learn to love and like pets are only here for a short time because like they already know how to love. Mm -hmm. It's so true. It's so true. Like before Nico I didn't know. I didn't know. That this existed. That yeah. this, and now that I know I'm like dang. Like, I know. <clears throat> like, gosh, you're so lucky but like gosh I miss him like with I yeah. miss him like with all my might, like more than anything in the whole entire world. Like I miss him, like oh gosh, just the little relationship stuff. But I remember, like when it happened, like it was just so like. I mean, first of all, like when Nico got sick, I just like I appreciated all the support that people were like, "Don't worry, he's gonna get better," and like they reached out and stuff. But you know what? Like he ended up passing, but um. Like after that, like it was just like I don't even know. Like I think our life just like felt like such a yeah. blur. But I read this poem about like how pets like they go to heaven or whatever, and they um, were the rainbow bridge, and they send down like pennies to like say like hey d don't forget about me. Mm -hmm. And then we went to lunch like the day after it happened mm -hmm. and I found a penny and I just like felt like I should pick it up. And then like a, like maybe a few hours later I read that poem and I was like oh my gosh like this is me feel mm -hmm. like say hi. So now like every time we see a penny like out of nowhere we're like oh like, that's Nico and he has pennies on his box. Yeah and Nico has like pennies <laughs> on his little box where like his ashes are and it's just like our little thing. And, or a little thing even if I mean it's just little things too like I mean it was really hard in the beginning because like I feel like it happened so fast it happened so fast like within like two days yeah. that I don't even think I had time to kind of uh, 
digest like what kind of happened we were just kind of like what the heck kind of happened it was just it was really hard to digest but stuff like that with the pennies helps <clears throat> but I mean I still miss him a lot but I just can't believe it's a year it happened so fast but we just we had to go with that it's yeah it's been really weird but I do think though it's gotten a lot better and we just try as a family to just kind of be positive because we we obviously want Nico to be Mm -hmm. Sometimes though I think like Nico is like, okay, like now it's like, like thanks for giving me the best life, but now I want you guys to go live your life and like during that time is like when me and Alicia applied to grad school and I just felt like it was just like, you know what, we're going to go and do it and like don't like mope around and don't do something with our life. Like I want to show Nico like, look, like I'm mm -hmm. going to make sure that, you know, like you look at your sisters and you're like, oh yeah. My sisters are like super cool. Yeah, other people. So Nico was cool, and he is the ish. <laughs> the ish. Wait, so, I remember one time before, real quick, when before like filming yourself was even like a thing. Remember when we got locked out, like locked out of the house, and we were waiting for mom and dad to get home, mm -hmm. and we were in the driveway. I think mm -hmm. Nico was like super little, mm -hmm. but we were like doing a video, yeah. like just for fun, and then. I think you were like, oh, this is shout out to, and we were like, Nico. <laughs> and he was like the ish before he was the ish. And now he's really the ish because he's a legend. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we hope you like this video. Um, and we love wish you Nico. all could have met Nico. Yeah. He was literally the best. The but best. But he is. His memories will live last. Forever. And we'll always post him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks.